We want to bring you an update tonight to an NBC5 Investigates report just days ago. We told you how the city of Chicago refused to turn over records related to which groups are planning to march on the Democratic National Convention. Now it appears one city agency is changing course. Our investigative reporter Bennett Haberly has the update. On Friday, we called out three separate city agencies for denying our records request to show who had sought permits to protest during the Democratic National Convention. Well, after that story aired, the Department of Transportation has now turned over those applications, showing these groups are among those who have applied. I don't believe that it is unreasonable to say 40,000 or even 50,000 people will be outside of the Democratic National Convention. Liz Rathburn is with the Students for a Democratic Society at the University of Illinois, Chicago. The group is part of a larger coalition now suing the city over parade permits. They want to demonstrate within close proximity to the United Center. Where the DNC will take place in late August. But just who has applied has been a bit of a mystery. Both the Chicago Park District and the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events have so far not turned over any permit applications to us. After initially failing to reply to our request, the city's Department of Transportation has since given us these permit applications, showing the city has rejected several groups, arguing in court filings that the presence of thousands of demonstrators could require several hundred additional police officers to provide security. Can you understand their take? I mean, that, uh, that's, a, that's a large group of people. If it was CPD on their own, I could understand that, but this is a special security zone. All of these are national security special events. And so there are going to be 20 law enforcement agencies, both federal, state, local, county, all of them will be here. The issue of where groups can protest isn't just a thing here in Chicago. We would like to be able to march within sight and sound of the Pfizer form, and we would like a permit to do it. Um, you know, but ultimately, if we don't get it, we're just going to have to march anyway. Groups in Milwaukee, where the Republican National Convention will be held later this month, were in court Wednesday, waging a legal fight of their own. With less than two months to the DNC, Rathburn says the group's attorneys are now in confidential negotiations with the city. Now that we're in negotiations, I think we will be able to get all of those things and be able to provide a safe, family-friendly, uh, and, you know, well-organized march and rally for, you know, the 40,000 people we think will be in Chicago in August. The security perimeter for the DNC is expected to be made public sometime later this month. Some of these groups, though, are still fighting a city ordinance, which would allow the city to establish additional security zones. In Union Park, Bennett Haberly, NBC5 Investigates. Thank you, Bennett.